Welcome, young Legatus! Do you ever think that you warriors deserve better weapons? Yes, I also think so. And in this video I am gonna show you where to find all unique legendary weapons in Expeditions Rome Act 1. And if you find this video useful, take a second and hit that like button and of course subscribe cause there are plenty of secrets to be revealed in my further videos. And let's start. The first unique item you can get in Mytilene Garrison right at the beginning of the game. Actually you can't miss it cause it's a part of the main story, yes, after you lay a siege there will be a quest to defeat the Achilles. And no matter how you solve it, do you kill him or capture him, you will get his sword. In my case I just kill him, now let's take his sword. Oh, and here it is, the first unique item you can get, let's take it. And this unique sword have one very nice ability, a skill, so every slashing damage will cause bleeding upon your opponents. Ooh, I like it, so it's very good sword to have. Well, now it's time for real treasure hunt, so we conquer Lesbos and move to Asia Minor and here we have a very interesting location called Mountain Top Ruins, let's see what we can find here. So we arrived at the location and it's time so to guys, turn on my nose and, and smell for treasures, yes I feel them, I smell <laughs> them, and to here. get them we need to climb these wines. This is the entrance, you go here. And actually it's pretty easy to find, and here it is, the chest. Let's open it, come on guys. And here it is, the road of Asclepius, a very useful and powerful tool. Treasure. Road of Asclepius will increase your healing by 44%. And it have a special perk, every time you kill a character it restores 10% of the maximum health of a random ally, it's wonderful, just must have and it's really easy to find. But let's move on. The next place we need to visit called Temple of Apollon and that's exactly where we will go. Actually, Temple of Apollon hides four unique items and I quickly will show you where to get them. And if you want to see full videos with all secret of this temple, no, he won't. I have How one, so check my long. playlist. You? Ok, the first item located in the chest right here. And it will be unique recipe, yes very good one, but you need to craft it, of course learn it first then craft it, ok take it off. From here we need to go down. To this location and pick up the pickaxe. We will need it to get a unique bow. Ok, let's climb. You Anyone? see this priest and this fire, now. oh my god. The temple is burning and if you help this priest you will get another unique crafting recipe. Such a selfless act warrants a reward. Please, take this. Quest completed, temple is saved and now we have another unique recipe, crafting recipe. This time is water jug, you think it's not useful at all? But it will be useful cause sometimes when you start a combat enemy throwing a Greek fire right at you and you need to put it down immediately. From this burning temple we must go up. Right here.
then down the stairs and behind this temple. By the way, a very beautiful temple. Really, I like it. And right here, near this empty pool, we see a crack in the floor. That's Listen, why we pick up a spike. Like <laughs> okay. Let's go a down. There's chamber beneath our feet. Yeah, yeah, a secret chamber right beneath our feet. Oh, I already see it. This chamber used to be open to the air. And Jesus friends, there, this is the best the bow the you can find in this game, called Urius Bow. The God it Upon dealing a killing blow with an interrupt attack, the stance does not end, allowing you to make another interrupt attack. So, if you kill an enemy with one shot, it will allow you to make another shot, and again, and again, and again. Wow. Mega powerful. Yuritu's bow is the best one. And to get the last one, you must progress in this quest and speak with the High Priest. And you will have a choice how to deal with him. I believe there will be a few ways to deal with him, but I will choose the way that will grant me a unique item. Okay, for that we must go you know back. And How long will you hmm, let him stay listen here long to like all this? this conversation? You only see it from the outside. You don't see what he's like when we're alone. This could be turned to our advantage. Let's follow her. And what a beautiful place after all. Now she is alone. Let's go and talk to her. Good day. So if you choose Paphos way, you can resolve it friendly, but I can only do this. And now let's search her. And what do we have here? We have a very unique medallion that will allow to restore our health point. Very useful. Let's take it. A lot of unique items can be found in this fishing village, so let's pay it a visit. The first unique item is very easy to find. To do this, we must go up here to that building. It will be guarded by a very powerful guardian, but we are <laughs> warriors after all. So this guardian and all these fellows will not be a problem at all. It's a gambling den, and right here we will need to check this chest. What do we have here? Occam's Razor, a very powerful dagger. It inflicts 50 more damage if you flank your opponents. Yes, backstab them. So let's take it. From this gambling den we must go up the street until we find this woman merchant. And she will sell us a very good bottle of wine, very rare one. It will cost you 2000 dinaris, but if you choose a Logos Pass, you can decrease this to 1000 in 300, I believe. We must buy it. When we buy this bottle, a new quest, side quest, the blood of Jupiter will start. And we need to bring this bottle to Lucullus. Let's do that. Yes, we must go to our very first location. It will be a long way. In the camp, just go to Lucullus and give it as a gift. And just see, drink, have a chat. After this conversation, all you have to do is go back to your camp and you will find a chest. Yes, in this chest will be a unique crafting recipe of a shield and of course unique ingredient you will need to craft this shield. And the letter. Let's take it all. So, all we have to do is to craft this shield and this shield is good. 50% chance to set Bindit to attack her who damage your shield in melee, reducing the accuracy to 1 and imposing 50% miss chance. Wow, 
It's very good, very useful shield. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Kimo, one of my subscribers, who point me and tell me about this unique shield. Let's continue. But Fisher Village hide another secret, and even two of them. So we are on the northern part of this region, and here we can find this pretty beautiful villa. And what do we have here? Hiding in this tree. Oh, it's some kind of symbol and a clue. Let's take it. The next place we need to go from this fishing village is to that shore. Let's do it. Ah, a statue of the warrior. There will be another symbol here. Let's take it. Yes, we got another symbol. And the next place we need to visit located right here behind these mountains. And yes, buried treasure. Perfect. We got another clue. And another location will be near this fishing village, a little bit up from Tross. Ok, it's located right here. Let's see what we can find. And yes, the tomb of Achilles. Perfect. Our final destination point. And once inside, we must go right to his tomb and get... Get ourselves a Spear of Achilles, a very powerful weapon. This spear will grant us a Reaper status effect at the beginning of the combat and 5% that we will get it later. Perfect. The next unique armor is called the Traitor's Mail and you can get it by finishing this quack, quack the mole. You have to chase fine Cassius, then fight him and bring him back for interrogation. And then he will take it off and you will get it. Interrogation is over and let's take a look at the traitor's mail. Yes, a very good mail. Dodge the first range attack against you in every round. Whoa. Arrows will be no problem for you anymore. And there will be one more unique item you can find, but it completely random. You can get in the beginning of campaign or much later, like I do. So it's sickle blade, let's take it. With this blade we must go back to the temple of Apollon. And inside the temple we must go and talk to this merchant. It's good to see you again. Yes, what do you see? Let's seek? show it to him. Oh. And he will oh, give us let unique you see. blueprint. This is most remarkable. This outcropping at the end and the markings here. I believe that what you hold in your hands is nothing less than the blade of the legendary sword Harpe. And now we have a harp, a unique sword belonged to Perseus, who slain the Medusa Gargona. Very powerful sword. And it triggers a check of opportunity twice. It's nice. So be sure to craft this sword. To get the next item, you must progress in main quests until this quest will appear. Moritari Tesalutan. And by following this quest, we will go to Gladiator School and meet a traitor here. This will not be an easy fight, but if you win, you will get his pike. And if you follow the path of destroyer, it will be very useful. So this pike will grant the ready status if you end your turn adjusted to a character wielding a shield. And it have a high critical chance. There is a rumor that you can get another unique item it called Mithridates Crown. And you will get it automatically. After the final such, Kota will give it to you. 
But no matter what I do, I didn't receive it, so maybe it's not available anymore. Friends, you have a list of all unique items you can find in Act 1, and if you like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And see you in another video, cause there are a lot of more unique items in Expeditions Room.